Hey YouTube, what's good and welcome back. I'm Ryan and this is Jonga and today we have a fun deck profile for you guys. A really cool, amazing combo deck that I've been enjoying, testing around a lot, playing some remote duel with and having some surprisingly good results. But first, just a few updates. In the future, there will be a once I figure out the technology and the, the right setup I want to use, there'll hopefully be a big boost in quality of the production because I think it's important to, you know, be a bit more personal and be able to, to connect with the audience a bit. And there might also be some Duel Links content, hopefully. And hopefully as well, the, the owner of the channel, Brian, will make a grand return with his Spiral deck which is really, really, really cool because I, for one, have played against it and it's it's pretty strong. But anyway, what deck do we have in front of us? Well, we all know that Jesse Cotton has his, you know, fun Danger, Thunder, Dragon deck. That's really fun and really amazing. We've all been there. Very dominant deck of last year. Amazing. Well, I've made Dino, Danger, Thunder, Chaos, Dragon. I guess just, you know, Dino, Thunder, Chaos is what I would call it. Because, you know, their dangers play only a small role in making you, help you make curious the last one, Dominion. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into it with the main deck. So, we're going to go by the different components of the deck. So, we have the Dinosaur component. So, three Oviraptor. Three Miscellaneousaurus. Two Coatless. Two Conductor, an Aeolo, and an Animadorned Arcosaur. So, not playing any babies like Baby Sarasaurus or Petit Pterodon. But we're still playing the Anime Dawn Dark Sword because it's uh, level 1 and it's light, so it can help you make Link Karibo. And the reason why you're playing Miscellaneous Sorus in this deck is because, I mean, it's an extender for a tuner to make Halgi Fiber, or it's an extender to make a Link Karibo to help you make Curious, because Curious is where it really all comes together. And making Halgi Fibrax is really good, because it helps you get to this guy, which is the other, you know, crucial combo piece of the deck. Making the Chaos Ruler usually means you're comboing off and you're playing the game. And this deck focuses more around uh, Quartless. We can discard him off Mothman, we can discard it off Card Destruction. We can send it to the graveyard with Curious in order to get a pill to supplement our locks. I found that a really strong beneficial part of this deck is that a lot of your comboing and stuff you'll be doing if you get stopped usually most of the time at least you'll have your pill and your thunder dragon cards afterwards because you're trying to combo with dangers and chaos and you know huggy fiber that kind of stuff first to get to where you need to be and of course the main synergy of the deck is with the thunder dragon cards double evolution pill banishing thunder dragon cards to get their effects so that's for the dinosaur co component. Now for the thunder component. So we're still playing three of the normal thunder dragons, mainly because it makes your hand size large, four four danger effects. And it's light, of course. Three dark and three raw because we want to draw them, we want to banish them off of Lua, we, we want to banish them off Pill, we want to banish them off Chaos Monsters. They're just fuel. Very sad that Colossus is banned, but you know, they're just a resource in this deck gives you the, the fuel we need to be able to combo off and also their levels are quite relevant because we play a hawk two matrix and a duo you know a dragon duo just a situational level 8 extender for hope harbinger dragon hawk situational extender because you know they're level six and they're level five summoning them back with a tuna monster on the field like you know we play level two tuners and we make metal marcher makes you have level eight synchros very easily to make your, your chaos ruler and then two Thunder Dragon Matrix because we are still playing Thunder Dragon Titan. But it's, you know, just a supplementary kind of thing. It's very easy to make Anaconda in this deck. It's very easy to send Thunder Dragon Fusion. So it's very easy to have that one interaction. Alright, so moving on to the dangers. So, three Mothman, two Juba Cobra, Jackalope, Such, Nessie. Yeah, and then two, level, uh, two Thunderbird and two Bigfoot. So obviously the best one is Mothman, because, you know, our hand size is large with Thunder Dragons. We can draw and discard, you know, a Vertex Quartless, discard any of these. These are just here for the additional draw, material to work with, you know, level 8 ones for Hope Harbinger, 
Level 4 one's really easy to make level 8 synchros with because Metal March are level 3, Link Token level 1, and of course they will make Curious. So the, the best one by by far is Mothman. Um, yeah, and I like to play a card de 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 destruction in the deck too. Alright, now for the Chaos Mosses. So we play two Chaos Creator, one Chaos Betrayer, a Levy, and two of the Baby Dragons because we are still playing Chaos Space in this deck. But this card in particular, Chaos Creator, is nuts. I mean, it's so, so, so broken. I probably should be playing three. There's an argument for playing three. Maybe instead of playing Levy, just play three Chaos Creator. But, you know, it's so good in this deck. So many combos, so many players. Um, Chaos Betrayer is an interesting one. If you don't know what it does, when it's in your grave, you banish a light and a dark to summon it out of your grave in defense mode, and then you can banish a card in your opponent's graveyard. But it's level six, it's dark, you send it off Curious, you can banish it from the grave to trigger Thunder Dragons, to trigger Shinobi Necro that we're still playing. It's just really good extender. Very like it's not that good, but it's a it helps, you know, fill in the gaps of the synergy of the deck. And then, yeah, we are playing Chaos Space, so we can search, you know, the five of these of Chaos Space. And the Baby Dragons are just, again, good extenders because, you know, helps you make Curious, helps you make Anaconda, helps you make Upper Lost Star. All in all, quite strong because Chaos Space is so strong. And then the last two monsters of the deck, we are playing two Tuners, on top of the Aeolo and the Miscellaneous Saurus, Shinobi Necro and Plague Spreader Zombie. Shinobi Necro because we can summon it back off our pill, can summon it back off the Chaos Betrayer, and we can summon it back off the Chaos Ruler when we summon that guy back out of the graveyard. So, free monster, zombie level 2, helps you make the, the, the synchros that make the deck so strong. Alright, so those are our monster cards. Now for our spells cards. So the dinosaur spells, the 3 Fossil Thig and the 2 Evo Pill, of course, required part of the package. Um, for the Thunder cards, 3 Allure, Gold Sark and the one Fusion. You only really need one because again, it's an afterthought of your deck. You just send it with Anaconda every game. Um, you can shuffle back your Titan of Chaos Creator and then use Thunder Dragon Raw to add this back to your hand to make Titan again turn two if you would ever make two Titans. Usually you should be able to win by then. Three Allure is self-explanatory. goes without saying one of the best cards in the game with Thunder Dragons and Gold Sarko. We're not playing Giant Rex? Probably could though. And of course, the three Chaos Space. It's good with the, with the dinosaur cards because at worst, you, you can still discard dead, dead conductors, dead quoteless to, you know, get your players going and your combos going. But this card's so sick. And last two power spells, Foolish and Card de Destruction. This is always a very controversial card. Most people don't like to play cards like, like this, but you know, this is such a fun, cool deck. It can really just be so explosive, get huge advantage by activating the, this card. All right, and it is a 60 card deck, of course. Not competitively viable, but it's a lot of fun. It's really, really, really fun, guys. And then it surprises me how well it does. Like all the engines have this really weird synergy t together and it works quite well. So I highly recommend trying it out, testing it out, maybe fitting some hand traps, make it more competitively viable. This is just when you just want to throw down with some nice casual fun games where you're not really con concerned about, you know, you're not playing meta, you're just playing some fun rogue combo decks. Alright, so for the extra deck, a pretty concise 15 cards, quite good. So we have the Synchros, so obviously we have the Chaos Ruler. He is, with Curious, one of the engine pieces of this deck, making him halfway through somewhere. Sometimes you don't even need it off, need off Needle Fiber. If you just draw the Tuners and the Thunder cards, you can make it. It's just, it's so good. So insane. And then we play a Brawler Savage, a Herald of Arclight, and the Mar Mar Martial Meta Marcher. These cards are just so easy to make with, you know, Hargy Fibra and Link Cross. So good. Additional interactions. Best friends with Conductor Tyranno, so they can't just summon and attack it. And then Brawler Savage, again, is very easy to make two level 8 synchros because you can make the, the, the first one with, you know, Hargy Fibra, Metal Marcher level 4s, and then you make the second one with, you know, Thunder Dragon cards, Plague, and Shinobi Necro. Very easy to make both in the same turn. Alright, now for the Link Monsters. So, self expanded Tree Broken cards. Link Creeper because it's Dark, Cyburst, I'm Curious, of course. 
A Pulsar, IP, Unicorn for additional interactions. When you just need to clear off monsters for no real purpose, you can make IP. Access code and Anaconda with the Titan. This card is so sick. <laughs> and then the one last rank eight, the Hope Harbinger Dragon, because it's very easy to make, very easy to get level eights and make him. All right, guys. So that goes for my, you know, quick deck profile of Dino Thunder Chaos. Again, so fun, really rewarding deck when it all combos off and it all flows nicely. And we'll just quickly jump into some, I guess, we'll just draw out some some hands. We'll do some quick tests and see how we go. All right, guys, so we've shuffled up a bit. Now let's just do some quick test hands, draw out an entire deck and see how we go. All right. So this first hand is very interesting. I mean, I don't think it's worth just slamming the card destruction, but it might just be worth, I guess, setting the chaos space and activating a danger effect. See how we go. Again, test hands of the deck are quite hard because dangers always have a lot of randomness. But we can see like a hand like, like that is just, you know, really, really, really insane. Just by initial observation, we have the Allure for the Thunder Dragon Dark, we have the Fossil Dig to start our plays and our combos. That should pretty much get to where we need it to go every time all right our next five well again we have a chaos based a thunder dragon and a gold sark and a chaos creator i think we're absolutely fine in that in that case really 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 nice hand okay this hand is not that good but we can definitely get somewhere because we can always pop our courtless with our animate on darkasaur hmm and then we can turn Anime Dawn Arcsaur into Link Reaper, and then we can banish it for our Collapse Serpent. Start linking off some cards, start doing some plays. Not that good, don't think it gets super anywhere. Again, hands like, like this are fairly random, because you have to rely on the, the Danger Summons to go through. Draw you into more cards. <laughs> a very similar hand, but we already see that we have the material to make a, a Hagi Fibrax. And then we have the Thunder Dragon Hawk to summon back the normal Thunder Dragon. So we'll always have Metal Marcher and, we'll always, and we have a level 5 on the field so we can make our Chaos Ruler and, you know, hopefully our plays go on and extend. Okay, Oviraptor. Yep, another really nice hand. No randomness involved there. So you kind of see, like, a lot of the hands, they work, but, you know, they are dependent on the dangers, how well your, your dangers go. I mean, even if a Mothman misses in that hand, it's absolutely fine. Um, you could probably... I'm not sure how you'd go about this one. Because maybe it's just better to normal summon the Aeolo and then activate a danger effect. Maybe search a miscellaneous Soros and then go danger effect. Not too sure on that one. It's probably really the worst hand out of them all because we have no extenders at all. But that's okay, it's bound to happen once in your 60 card deck. This one is just very simple. You just hope you can activate your pill so you can start banishing this. And then once you start banishing that, you should be able to end on, you know, a few interruptions. Looks good. And then the, the last five. Yep, definitely quite good, quite viable. All right, so I think our test hands went quite well. Uh, again, it's a lot of fun, guys, but don't expect, you know, super crazy com competitive. This is just, you know, rogue, cool combo deck idea that's a lot of fun and definitely surprises me when it pops off. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for future channel updates and cosmetic changes once I figure out that technology, but I'm unfortunately a bit of a boomer when it comes to that kind of stuff, but I'm getting there. It's really interesting. It's really fun. Maybe yeah, I can just get people to, to do it for me, but that, that feels a bit defeatist. I'd rather do it myself. Anyway... Thank you so much, guys. See you later.